Look at this, just as much as her face is sticking out, that's scary as it is. Let's see if she works. Okay, she's talking. <laughs> Damn it, I knew she was gonna jump and I still was scared. Guys, check it out today I am in Cuyahoga Falls I believe this is called Chapel Hill Plaza and we are going to go in and explore a spirit Halloween which is in an old former HH Greg this is awesome check it out guys there it is the big spirit Halloween sign and that's a huge one over top of what uh, used to say HH Greg appliances and electronics you can kind of see the label scar up there underneath and there it is. So let's go on in and see if they got anything different from what's in these other Spirit Halloweens. I love going in these places. I love seeing all the animatronics. I love getting scared by everyone that I know is going to jump at me already. And I'm such a wimp, I still get scared. All right, here we go. Reaper's Wharf. And immediately I see one that I have not seen before. Okay, for anybody who has not watched any of my other Spirit Halloween videos, if you are from this area and you are watching this one specifically because of this area I'm gonna show you everything that we see here just like I do in the other ones first we got Bubba this is a scary dog that jumps out when you step on the mat I love that one he if he works right he makes me jump every single time look at the red eyes okay now this is a little bit different. This one is the creepy towering clown. They always have these things set up a little bit different. It's, it's all the same setup this year, the Reaper's Wharf with the haunted ship, but they have different animatronics set up in each place. And I don't remember what this one does. I should know by now. He's pretty cool. Look how huge he is, too. He's probably, he's probably seven feet tall. He's enormous. <laughs> okay, now, here we got, I always get this guy mixed up with, uh, with this one over here. This is Jack, holy crap, that scared me. This is Jack Straw right here, and this is a sitting scarecrow. Oh, okay, yeah, so it's right here, sitting scarecrow. Okay, so check this guy out. I just jumped like a little girl when he did that. <laughs> All right, now let's compare him to Jack Straw. Come on, Jack. Don't tease me here. <laughs> See, the thing that scares me so much is that I have to stop, step on these, and sometimes I have to actually, like, stomp on them to get them to work, and that's what just happened here. All right, right behind me is one that I have not seen in the stores yet. Uh, let's see, what's he called? I don't know, they don't have his name set up anywhere, but I saw him online. He's... Something's making noise. Oh, it's the speaker. <laughs> okay. All right, come on. That's disappointing. He's not working right now, and I really wanted to see. Let's see if the girl can get him to work for us. All right, guys, well, he's called Rusty, and she just said that uh, they had to order another one for them to send in because just within the last couple of days, he stopped working. So that one we will be getting replaced. But let's move on here. Okay, we got this giant guy. I'm pretty sure that, yeah, I've seen him in other stores. In my pouch, I have a rare delicacy. I stabbed it. I hit it with a hammer. You think it would have the common courtesy to die? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I've heard him say that in the other stores. Okay, now, look at this. This looks cool because these guys are already moving over here. I love this. All right, first let's go through here. We always got to go through here. And there's Experimental Eddie. <laughs> Okay. 
We got some other ones set up here. This guy I love because he lunges at us, hugs the clown. All right. You there? You want to play a game? If I catch you, then I get to eat you. Got you! Oh, I'm <laughs> Ah, well, I'll just have to catch you the next one, then. <laughs> He's actually one of my favorites because he lunges and he scares you. You know, just like the ones up here that we saw, they always scare the crap out of me. All right, we got Sam here. I think that's all he does. All right, this one here, I gotta tell you, I wish that this guy, it's called the Cocooned Corpse, and I so wish that he whipped around violently. But this is all he does. He just moves real slow. And I don't know, I mean, it's cool. It's a guy cocooned in spider webs. But if I was cocooned in spider webs, you better believe I'd be fighting to get out. <laughs> and that would definitely be a lot scarier if he was whipping around. Like this guy here, look at this. Tortured torso. I love this guy. Look, he's hanging up here. You don't have to step on anything to uh, to activate him. He just moves like that constantly. And if half my body were ripped off, that's exactly what I'd be doing. <laughs> okay, Crouchy. Okay, I didn't know his name the other day. I've done a couple of these videos, a bunch of them actually. And this guy's name is, is Crouchy. Oh my God, he looks so much scarier than the other one. Look at the size of his hands compared to mine. How you doing there, Crouchy? <laughs> All right. Well, and I don't even have to step on anything because he's moving already. I wonder if he's motion activated. We do have this. But I noticed that he was moving earlier anyway, so he's enormous. He's got to be... God, he's probably seven feet tall, too. He's huge. Those hands are what really creeps me out. Look how huge these are. Look at this, his hands are as big as my head. <laughs> he can just grab me and crush. All right guys, we got Cerebrus here. Fog machine compatible. Online, you see these light up and fog comes out of their mouth, I think. So, yeah, okay, cool. Look how they're lit up. I don't think they lit up like this in the, in the other store. I really like that, that's awesome. <laughs> That's creepy. <laughs> I would love to see fog coming out their mouth. That would look so cool. Curious to see what else they have set up in here. I want to see if they have a Pennywise, because I've yet to find a Pennywise that, look, that works really awesome, and I want one to really scare me. But let's look at some of this other stuff here. I think this suit is supposed to be like that stupid David R. Pumpkins or something from Saturday Night Live. I mean, I like the suit, but the skit I just never got into. Just wasn't funny to me. Okay, this is cool. I don't know if I've seen, yeah, that's kind of, I don't know if I've seen the rubber mask in other stores. I know I've seen these. <laughs> Look at these. <laughs> I don't know if I've seen those either. If they were in other stores, I didn't pay attention. And somebody asked me if I have seen an adult Shazam costume, so I gotta keep an eye out for that. I don't know if I have or not. Okay, here we go. Here's the Michael Myers. I always gotta check them out to see uh, if they have different kinds here. And these look pretty much the same. I hate the hair like that, but this mask is actually a pretty good looking mask from Halloween 2. Let's see. Yeah, they got all the varieties of the Nightmare on Elm Street gloves here. That's the most expensive one and, and the best looking. And then you got, you know, cheaper ones that are like bendy knives and that. Obviously, you don't want to hurt anybody. Kruger mask, sweater, stranger things. All right, let's keep on moving here. You gotta love the skeleton stuff. Although, I did notice that some of these stores have uh, Cobra Kai stuff, but no Cobra Kai skeleton outfits. Hmm. All right, Friday the 13th, we got the Voorhees jersey here. For chicks, I think. <laughs> Socks. I've seen this mask in pretty much every store. 
I don't see the other ones, though. Here's a ghost face costume. You can never go wrong with ghost face. I love Scream. All right, let's see what else we can find here. Huh, Eddie Booter. Okay, here's all the It stuff. This is, this is probably the best It mask I've ever seen. That's a really, really good one. Oh look, they have, I'm, I bet they have these in the other stores, but I never noticed. Hugs the Clown costume. So that's the one over here that I said I really like because he lunges at you with the purple hair. I never noticed the costume before. Oh, here's another Pennywise mask. I don't know, I haven't seen this one in the other stores. That's more of like a deluxe, I guess, but honestly, I like this one better. I think that looks better. And of course, they got the full costumes then. The hammers. <laughs> this store is pretty decked out, actually. They have a lot of stuff in here. I love this. Look at this. Pizza Planet jacket. I would wear this thing every day. Look at that. That is so cool. And that's embroidered, too. Look at that. Yeah, that's not just printed on there. That's embroidered. So you could legit wear that as a regular jacket. Go deliver pizza to somebody's house. <laughs> okay, I see we got the Spirit Aquarium over there, so we'll make our way over there in a minute. I just want to poke around here a little bit more at the costumes. See if there's anything else that I haven't seen. What the heck, Bob Ross? I don't think I've seen that in other stores. <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh my god. Alright, let's keep looking here. Never know what you're going to find in these, because most of them have the same stuff, but you never know. Sometimes you come across stuff that's totally different. What is this? Yes, look at this. Inflatable SpongeBob and Patrick. That's hilarious. I could just put on those shorts and be Patrick. I'm so fat. <laughs> oh my god, I'm such an idiot. Okay, let's keep on looking here. I, I don't think too many people are buying those. I see a ton of those in every store I go to. Black lights. I actually need a black light. I should pick one of these up. What in the heck is this, guys? A pumpkin Fortnite launcher. Fortnite pumpkin launcher. That's pretty hilarious. <laughs> oh, look at this. They got the uh, the Slimer. I've Actually, I don't think I've seen one of these Slimers. Oh my god, he's pretty cool. He's like thick foam. That is pretty awesome. I got a second one, too. Look, guys, I found him. Mr. Toots. I'm just so disappointed that all he does is roll very, very slow. <laughs> I mean, that's sort of creepy in a way, but that's way too slow for me. And here he is in the box. Look, on the box it shows it like he goes whizzing by, but out there in reality he's just creeping along. <laughs> All right, guys, look at this. This is exactly what I'm talking about, about finding things that are not available in the stores anymore, but they have old stock. Here's one I haven't seen before. Zombie hand lawn stakes. They're enormous hands. Look how big they are compared to my hands. <laughs> Roaming Chucky doll. I think he's basically the same thing as Mr. Toots, who is still out here, slowly roaming around the floor. That is too funny. But look, he's basically on a Roomba. And I bet it's the same thing with this looming straw man. I bet he's just on a, a Roomba, Zumba. I don't know, I can't remember what he's called. <laughs> he probably does that same thing. All right, let's keep looking around here a little bit. There's the uh, haunted aquarium. We're gonna check that out in just a second. But let's see if there's any other animatronics that are not set up or that I haven't seen in other stores. Now, here we go. Here's a Jack Skellington. I've seen, uh, heck, I can't even remember what her name is, Sally, but I have not seen him anywhere. Then of course we got Sitting Scarecrow and Sinister Spirit Doll. Okay, oh, look at this, guys. You can see the old H.H. Gregg signs up here. Mattress Center, appliances, and look at this. Digital Home Theater, oh my God. I was so absorbed in the spirit of Halloween that I forgot to look at the H.H. Uh, the H. H. Gregg stuff. That is pretty amazing. Look at this, all around, 
Home Solutions Furniture. Even up front, it says, thank you for shopping H.H. Gregg. Look at this. <laughs> oh my God. It totally slipped my mind because I was so enveloped in what I'm doing here. But anyways, back to Spirit Halloween. Okay. All right, we gotta go around the other side. Wait a minute, let's look at the, the uh, animatronics here. These in every store are pretty much the exact same thing from every store. It's pretty much the same thing here. All applicants must be dead. That's not a problem, is it? This guy, his eyes and mouth are supposed to move. Yeah, there we go. That one probably works better than any of the other ones I've seen. The mouth is usually the problem. And these girls here. Come on, girls. Not working. They're pretty creepy when they work. This one does not... Oh, here they go. Why did it take so long? Okay. Yeah, there they go. They're moving now. Um, this one here, Abandoned Annie. She's pretty cool if you haven't seen her yet. She talks for a minute and then you see how her mouth is jagged. Her mouth opens and closes really big and it turns into like a demon voice. And here's the uh, experimental Eddie that I showed you guys when we first walked in when we went through the porthole thing up here. Let's see if he works. Yep. That one actually works really good. Oh crap, here's the one that scared me the other day so bad. Look at this, just as much as her face is sticking out, that's scary as it is. Let's see if she works. Okay, she's talking. <laughs> Damn it, I knew she was gonna jump and I still was scared. Look at her mouth, look how creepy that is. She reminds me of the exorcist. <laughs> All right, then we got this little Tootsie Roll up here. What's her name? Bloodthirsty Betty. Look at her, she shakes and then she jumps at us. <laughs> See, she needs to be set up a little bit different so that her face jumps right up at your face. All right, and this guy, he just comes out. I'm haunting you, I think he said. Comes out the other side here too, hold on. Oh, okay. I don't think his head's supposed to go upside down like that, but he does. All right, here we go. Spirit Aquarium, swim with the fishes. Here we go. This is all set up like a haunted aquarium in here. Octopus. Piranha. There come the piranha. We got the great white shark here. Who swims. Yeah, there he is. Swims from that side to the other side. And he crashes through over there. And what's that? Angler fish. Puffer fish. Here comes. Yeah, there we go. That worked out pretty good in this one. A lot of times it's not timed right and, uh, and he'll like smash into here when you're halfway back there. But that worked pretty good. I didn't see any fog come out though. There's no fog come out of this one. It's all supposed to come out of these little bolts here, these little holes. Pretty cool though anyway. Okay. I think we've seen all of that. All of that? Oh wait, look. There's a really good leather face mask here. Yes, I haven't seen that anywhere before. That looks really good, man. Texas Chainsaw Massacre, 50 bones. Yeah, I haven't seen that one in other stores. That's a pretty good looking mask though. I ordered one on eBay one year for a Halloween party. I think I paid 90 bucks for it or something. There's another one up there. That one doesn't look as shiny. I wonder if that's a different version. 
Hmm. This guy's, I thought this was Teen Wolf for a minute. It's Beauty and the Beast. <laughs> okay. All right, let's see. What is this? Oh, Naruto. Somebody mentioned Naruto in one of my other spirit videos. They said, what about Naruto? Well, here it is. I, I've never watched this kind of stuff, but look at this mask. A Toby mask? I mean, it looks pretty cool, even though I don't know what it is. I know what the Naruto run is when we storm Area 51. <laughs> There's more scream. All right, let's look and see if we can find that Shazam costume. If somebody was asking me if they have uh, adult-sized Shazam costumes in here. And I thought that I saw them, but maybe not. Look at this one, though. Inflatable baby president. That's pretty funny. I saw the mask the other day, but I don't think I've seen that. <laughs> All right, we got the jumping spiders, brown and black. I love those. That's one of the first things that scared me when I walked in and started filming in one of these places. Guys, look at this. We got a purple Babies R Us cart and a Party City cart. That's pretty funny. <laughs> Oh yeah. All right, guys. I think that's just about it. There's your old H.H. Uh, H. Greg in the background. I love that digital home theater thing back there. And thank you for shopping H.H. H. Greg. See you later, Mr. Toots. <laughs>